Hey, good morning, Carlos. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thanks for your phone call yesterday. I think I have the perfect camper for you. It's right behind me. Exact same floor plan as that, I want to say Sonic. I, w I didn't recognize the brand that you mentioned, but when I looked at the floor plan, it was kind of a copy of this. So let's take a look. Grand design, if you do some research, you and your wife, I think, um, will come to the top of the list as far as brand quality. Uh, customer service, etc. It's the brand I would buy, one of the four left that I would. Um, R40, a true R40. There are companies out there, brands out there that claim R40 insulation factor that's kind of fakey, uh, but this really does have R40 insulation on the roof. It's kind of early, so I didn't get on the roof. Maybe I can show you part of it. It has 165 watts of solar up there. You might be able to see the panel. It'll have a Weingard Air 360 digital TV antenna and radio antenna. 18 year warranty on that roof. So compare that to the competitors and Grand Design will win. Um, I think that's about it on the roof. It does have a uh, attic vent as well so if you do any winter camping you won't uh, have to worry about condensation they finish out even so you can kind of tell the quality all over by the stuff that you don't see very often this inside pass through here it's a drop frame um, you can see where the frame drops right here a little bit so it's one of the few drop frame travel trailers that gives you so much more room here New for 24 is this rubber matting here. Uh, LED light strip runs all the way across there, which is sweet. All your controls over there, we'll show you at the RV park. That's another big plus to our location is you'll have an RV park here to learn your camper in and spend the night uh, that we own. And that's a much better experience than just learning it in a parking lot and going home and crossing your fingers that everything works. So you'll have a battery disconnect, hot and cold running water here. You'll have another spray port in the back that that blue hose here connects to. So two ways to wash things off on the outside. 30 amp cord. It's wired for a tire pressure monitoring system if you want one. As I mentioned and as you saw, I hope have a, it has a solar panel with an inverter that will run your lights on in radio. T, uh, not your TV, but your refrigerator. So even if you have a blackout or brownout, you still have fresh food. Uh, Grand Design double welds these. I don't know if I can show you the other side of that weld, <laughs> but on each side here is welded, but you can kind of just see, because some companies don't, um, the quality of just even their pass-through. Uh, black tank flush here. And these are bonded Sidewalls, R7 insulation factor. I think they went to R9 actually on the sidewalls. It's gonna have an instant tankless hot water heater. I'll show you that inside. Ladder to the roof. It's a fully walkable roof, Carlos, so you can go up there and throw up some beanbag chairs and watch a sunset or Formula One, wherever you're at, whatever you're doing. Great big awning. They do not cheap out on the awning. It runs the entire length of the camper so much so that it requires a designed middle support there where you roll it up. That LED light strip you can turn on or off. Two doors with two screen doors. So because all these windows open up 50%, every window in this camper will open up 50% and give you a good breeze on days you don't have to run the air conditioner. One thing you'll notice is storage everywhere in the grand design. Everywhere you, they can think to put a drawer, a dresser drawer, a cabinet, anything for storage, they do it. When you first come in, you got a shoe cubby here with two drawers and some countertop. This countertop has a wireless charger and just plug, just set your phone right there. That's going to charge that up. All your controls are here, lights, brand new for uh, 2024 is this track lighting on the ceiling. Super cool. A few less holes in the ceiling and it's dimmable. So by this button right here, 
don't know if you can see on video or not, but you can really dim these lights to some boom chakalaka ambiance. Countertops everywhere, one piece roto mold countertops. You're not going to split later on. Metal undermounted sink, 110 and USB everywhere you need it. You'll see that throughout the camper. 110 hidden up here. Standard three burner range, microwave and oven. Lots of pantry and drawers. This is going to be a 10 cubic foot electric refrigerator. No more having to worry about running your propane when you're pulling it. And this is on right now, just from the solar panel. Um, freezers up above it, 10 cubic foot as I mentioned, and will run from your solar panel. These are recliners with a divider in the middle. These have heat, massage, and accident light, which is pretty cool on both of them. You've got a blue light in the cup holder and a blue accent light underneath. So at night, again, dim these lights, turn off the counter lights, and you got a beautiful camper. Smart TV right across from recliners. Here's the divider that I mentioned. Notice the blackout blinds. Quality. This table drops down to make into bed if you ever needed to, and it's super easy. All you do is just release these two the clamps there, easy, pushes down, makes into a bed, pops right back up when you're done. TV right across from the recliners. The recliners go almost flat. Not quite, but pretty darn close, even for a 6'4 guy. Again, more 110, even above your charger, USB there as well. The heating vents are in the bottom of the wall instead of in the floor. So you have a more solidly structured wall and vents you don't have to clean out every six months or so. Big barn doors here. This is your thermostat for AC. Grand Design only does porcelain toilets. They don't do metal. And again, notice the storage. Lots of places to hide towels. That goes about four feet deep. Big shower. This is the same shower door that Airstream uses. It squeezes itself off. And nothing to have to clean later on. No glass mold or anything. Your bed. True 60 by 80 queen bed, not a short queen. So putting a topper on it, replacing the mattress later, or getting fitted sheets, no problem. Storage underneath the bed with a unique sliding tray. This tray will go side by side, side to side, so you can use better, you can better use that space. Holds itself up with struts, some don't. TV location, no problem. And these little cubby holes are designed to hold, to fit the top five selling CPAP machines. And again, 110 and USB in each one of those cubby holes. And the lights above your bed can either be a pretty blue nightlight or a strong reading light, your choice. Storage above the bed, alongside the bed, his and her closets. And again, your separate entryway for a safety feature. I think you mentioned that, and I do agree. And more 110s even at the foot of your bed on each side. Crazy. So I think this is your winner, winner, chicken dinner. From what you told me, it's going to be about the same price. So higher quality, better, uh, same price. That's the theme here. I'm going to text this to you early this morning. Hope I don't wake you up. My number is 406-696-4750, 406-696-4750. This is a Grand Design 2024-23LDE Imagine. It's the brand I would buy personally, and I've got some experience. No BS. Electric tongue jack will fill up your propane for you, give it a brand new fresh battery, and you'll be good to go. There's nothing more fun than camping. I just came back from a week and a half in Colorado. 
Man, it is a mood changer, game changer, healthy, fun. Let's have some fun. Let's go camping.